Hi everybody, thank you for stopping by my channel today. I just wanted to give you a quick update for September. I didn't give an update for August. A lot of things happened to me in August, so it wasn't the best month. The major thing that did happen is that my computer died I and mean, it completely went black screen. So I couldn't even reinstall from a previously saved version of my entire computer. So um, I had to quickly turn around and purchase a new computer, which was kind of a chunk of money um, that I really didn't want to be spending at the time, but I quickly had to kind of get something going because I was like in the middle of actually building a lot of patterns and doing a lot of stuff with my school. So um, I was planning to buy a new computer anyway, it just, this happened a little bit sooner than I was planning. So um, I was lucky enough that I, this happened to me several years ago and I learned my lesson and so everything was on external drives, um, but I couldn't get to the, that information until I got my new computer. So um, at least I had all of my patterns and all of my lessons for my schools um, on external drives, so that saved me. So it took me about a week to get the new computer and then I continued on with a lot of the pattern drafting. Um, and I do have several patterns that are coming out, but I had to just kind of start piecemealing some things together. And um, I did just upload two new patterns. Uh, one is a Bermuda boxer brief and the other is a G-string. So let me get to those right now. So this is what I'm calling the Bermuda boxer brief and it actually looks just like the other boxer brief that is available to you. But I call this the Bermuda because it's much uh, longer in the waist length. So it'll sit higher on your waist. And I also uh, gave you uh, an indication or uh, the option to shorten the legs. This leg is definitely longer than the regular boxer brief, but I give a dotted line for you to actually cut the pattern if you want the shorter leg. The other option is that there are four views to this pattern. So uh, the front body parts and the back body parts are all the same for all the views. Um, and actually the back has a center back seam, which actually gives you a little bit more shape. So the views for the front are come all on the front pouch. So the first view, view A, is actually the same center front seam um, that builds the pouch like uh, we normally have seen in the other boxer brief. The second view, view B, is actually just a shaped dart here at the bottom and then the top is actually no seam. So that's view B. View C has the opening pocket here up at the top. It still has the shaping seam at the center front, but it has the opening pocket here at the top. And then the final view, view D, is actually like a classic uh, brief to where we have the front fly uh, access here and it's actually can open up for that kind of access there. So I thought that would be a good uh, view to offer you as well. So the Bermuda brief comes in four views. Now the other one that I just mentioned that I uploaded is a G-string. A lot of people have been asking that about for this. So I have a basic pouch, which actually looks very similar to the basic jock strap, which you can actually still get download for free but it's actually a little bit more shaped and has a little bit more cupping here on the outside uh, edges. So there are two views. And the first view is this one here, which I'm using a trim, an elastic trim that I haven't really um, put in a pattern yet before. It's called fold over elastic, or some people call it double fold. And what it does is it clean finishes the ed edges and it's actually elasticized as well. So I use that for the waistband around the edges of the pouch and for the G-string. What's nice about this is that it offers the ability to create a reversible G-string front. So I have blue on one side and then green on the other. So that could be kind of fun for you to work with. The view B actually is not reversible, um, but I'm using the actual wide waistband for the waist and then just a single strand of elastic for the G-string. And then of course, regular elastic goes around the edges here, just like on a regular swimsuit. So the new patterns come in several different views. So please check those out. 
A couple other things that I'm working on to release next week, I've got some requests for from some customers for basically a strapless sack. So I've worked on this and basically this will hold you in there with just basically the waistband. And there are two views on this one, also uh, one with the fold over elastic and one with a wide waistband. And these are very different from the actual jock strap pouch because they're the angle that they are being holding you actually holds everything in there so the, the sack actually won't slip off. So the other one that I'm calling the Riviera brief is I've gotten quite a few requests for um, briefs that don't have the fabric on the side of the body here. So um, basically um, I've got, this is just a sample that I worked out. So um, I have used uh, the same pouch idea. So there's a seam going down the center, but I also have one that I'm working on. that's just a basic flat front for you. So um, I got this request from a customer recently. So um, it just basically has the front and the back with the uh, waistband. So look for those coming out next week. So there is one major change um, to the videos that is happening actually with the release of beginning with the release of the two patterns I just mentioned and that there's no background music and the reason there's not going to be any background music is because I've had to deal with um, some uh, copyright issues where people were claiming the copyright on the my background music and recently I've been making my own background music using GarageBand and they'll basically just uh, claim the copyright copyright on three or five seconds of that music and I still have to go through the whole YouTube process of trying to reclaim back my copyright. So basically I'm not going to have any video um, music in the background of my videos. So um, until I can figure out how to take care of that appropriately, um, there won't be any background music and I apologize for that. So the reason that's important to me is because I'd like to get my channel monetized and in order to do that I can't have any copyright right claims on my videos. So, so the other thing that is going to be happening at least on my standalone website so at likeaman.com is that the videos will no longer be on a separate page. The videos are actually just going to go right onto the product page. So uh, with the many as many patterns that I have now I have a lot of videos and the drop down menu is getting really crowded and I know it's hard for you to find the, the right video for you to watch on my website. So what I've chosen to do is with these two patterns starting um, this week is that those videos will actually be right on the product page. So if you can't find the video right there on YouTube, then go back to the product page where you purchased the pattern on my sewitlikeaman.com website and the video will be at the bottom. So I figured that would be the easiest way for you to find those videos. There is one more thing that I'd like to address and that's the length of my videos. I know they're long. So I've gotten um, some comments on some of the videos that they are very long and the reason they're long aside from me being long winded is that I'm teaching you how to do something. I'm not showing you how to do something and there's a difference. So I've been an actual teacher, college professor, university instructor um, for quite a few years and I've just gotten used to actually repeating myself over and over again and making making sure that you actually know all the finer details about putting a garment together and all of those things that you need to know going into this. So I know the videos are long, but I'm really teaching you um, a skill so that if you go and buy another pattern, you're going to know right away how to put it together. You're going to know about the fabrics. You're going to know about the different types of elastic to use. You're going to know how to apply the different types of elastics and which is really kind of a better way to apply things. And I'm really hoping that I'm really giving you and teaching you the skills and they're coming straight from my knowledge base that I learned I've learned over the years so I apologize for those people who feel that the videos are way too long but I really feel that I'm giving you a lot of information that you wouldn't be getting otherwise and just again, I really want to thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't done that yet, hit the subscribe button so that you can get all of my pattern updates and I promise I'll be posting a lot more often. Thank you again for watching. Take care of yourself and be well.